hello, it's story time again and today's story is about somebody very, very special. Do you want to know who it is? It is somebody. Now you have to watch and see. So settle in with good listening ears and keep your eyes on me or on the screen and you will find out who came for tea. So let's begin. Enjoy. The tiger who came to tea. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this is in the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because He's got his keys. Why was mummy saying all this? Because there was a knock on the door. Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So now you know. Who came for tea? It was the tiger. He came to have tea with Sophie and her mummy. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Oh, he swallowed the full plate of sandwiches, but he was still hungry. So, Sophie looked at the table and there were some buns. She passed the buns to him. And the tiger looked so pleased. He took the buns, ate them. He took the tea and gulped down all of it. My goodness, look at him. The whole table is empty. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits, all the cakes, until there was nothing left on the table. Sophie's mother said, Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot and he was feeling nice and full and Sophie was so pleased to have him for tea. She gave him a big hug and what is this tiger doing? Look at him. He's opening the refrigerator and taking out all the food stuff. Do you think he's still hungry? What do you think? I think he is. Those buns and cakes and sandwiches were not enough for him. Look at him. He opened the food cupboard and from there he's trying to pick up what he wants to eat. 
and all the packets and the tins in the cupboard and he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's drinks and all the water in the tap. He really has a big stomach, don't you think so? He can eat much more than what we eat for a week, I think. And finally, Sophie was just enjoying watching him do all that. He's drinking from the tap. Watch him. Then he said, Thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go. And he went. And look, what did he leave behind? Look at the state of the kitchen. Sophie's mama is feeling shocked, looking at all the things out of the cabinets, out of the refrigerator, the bowls, the spoons, the pots, the pans, the milk bottles, everything topsy-turvy. And even Sophie's clothes, she needed to have a bath. And then Daddy came home. Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and had all their drinks. And Daddy said, don't worry, we shall do something else. And Daddy said, you wait, I have an idea. He put on their coats and they went to a cafe. And they went out in the dark. All the street lights were on. And there they went to eat in one of the restaurants. And they had a nice supper with sausages, chips and ice cream. And in the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and bought more things to eat. They bought a big tin of tiger food in case the tiger comes again for tea. So they bought a lot of food stuff just for the tiger. That means they were so happy to have the tiger with them. They wanted to see the tiger again. So that is the end of the story. Wasn't it nice? I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again tomorrow again with another lovely story.